I'm playing modern Minecraft using the Fabric Mode Loader, and that's exactly what I'm going to teach you in this video, how to download and install the Fabric Mode Loader for Minecraft 1.21.1. It should be super simple, and if we have any issues along the way, I'm going to teach you how to solve those. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step to download and install the Fabric Loader or the Fabric Mod Loader for Minecraft is to click that second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to install the Fabric Mod Loader. If you don't want to read through the whole guide, however, just scroll down to step one and click Download Fabric Loader here. That is going to redirect you to the Fabric official page, where we're going to hit Download Universal Jar, and that'll be begin the download immediately for fabric now while the fabric mod loader is downloading you want to use fabric online and use your own mods just click on the first link in the description and create your server with apex hosting you will actually get 25 percent off and besides that they have a lot of advantages like for example they support over 200 mod packs with just a click of a button their servers are hosted online so you don't have to worry about port forwarding keeping your computer on the server will be created in less than five minutes they have locations all around the world so you don't have to worry about lagging anywhere you're in the world you have a good connection and something that i personally love about about Apex hosting is that you could actually create the server and access the server console through your phone, which means that you could be away from the house and stuff and still kick people out of the server, change the settings, OP people, whatever you want to do. It is your server after all, and you could do all of that using your phone. Click on that first link in the description for 25% off with Apex hosting. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, once Fabric downloads, let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. You'll actually find that file here on your recent download history. So just go ahead and put that jar file into your desktop. That is just a Fabric installer. However, we do want to test out the Fabric mod loader once we install it and to do that we're actually going to download some mods now the first mod that you're always going to download along with fabric is the fabric api if you have ever installed fabric you know that fabric api is required for most mods to work with fabric now to install fabric api is super simple head over to that third link in the description scroll down to step one if you don't want to read through our whole written guide and just click on download fabric api here that is going to redirect you over here where obviously you're going to choose the 1.21.1 version unless you're watching this in the future and you want something else but just go ahead and choose that 1.21 1.1 version hit on these three dots in here and hit download file and that'll begin the download immediately for the fabric api you actually just have to wait five seconds and then the download will begin but yeah you will get the file downloading here just like we did with the fabric installer and then obviously once it finishes let's go ahead and wait for this blue line to go away we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop that file into our desktop there we go put it in your desktop now at this point i guess you could install the fabric installer but you only have the fabric api we actually want to test out the fabric installer or the fabric mod loader with other mods in this case specifically i'm going to use idos mini map but feel free to use any mod that you want but if you just want to follow along this tutorial click on the fourth link in the description scroll down to step one and let's download Cyros. okay this is a mini map pretty cool mod for minecraft and it's a good way to test out if the fabric mod loader is working scroll down to step one hit download that is going to redirect you over here and obviously now you have to select the 1.20.1 version or 1.21.1 version for fabric how to do that you could just change the filter by and then set it to 1.21.1 and then you could also filter by all the mods loader only to fabric and that will give you that 1.21 1.1 version for fabric you're gonna hit on these three dots in here and you're gonna hit download file and after five seconds the download will begin for cytos again you could use any mod that you want to test out fabric but in this case i'm going to use cytos because i know it is working anyways now we have everything we need to begin the first thing you want to do is double click on the fabric installer or right click on it hit open with and hit java that is going to open the installation or the installer for fabric mod loader in here make sure you have 1.21.1 selected and then just hit install now if you weren't able to open the installer for fabric that is because you need java 21 this is not optional this is actually a requirement any Minecraft above Minecraft 1.20.5 will require you to have Java 21 to install any mods or to use any jar files when installing anything for Minecraft. And Fabric is no exclusion. So you're going to actually have to install Java 21. I'm going to leave this link in the description. Installing Java 21 is super simple. You just download it and hit next a couple of times. And that's it. You have Java 21 installed. And that is what is going to allow you to open the Fabric installer. Some of you might have some other Javas like Java 17 or Java 8. Well, that's not working anymore. You're going to need Java 21. I'm going to leave that guy in the description. Once you manage to open the Fabric installer and once you manage to install it just go ahead and close out from it once it's installed and now you could even delete that fabric installer from your desktop as you don't need it anymore now the next step is to add saeros and our fabric api or whatever other mods you're going to use into fabric how do you do that you might ask well go ahead and open your minecraft launcher first now if you install fabric loader properly you should see selected here automatically as you can see we have it right here so that's good but it doesn't really matter because for the next step we're going to head over to installations and this is where it matters to see fabric uh you won't see fabric unless you select mod it 
So make sure you do select modded in here and then fabric will show. And if you still don't see fabric, just click on new installation, name this whatever you want. Like for example, Apex Hosting. And then on the version, just type fabric as well in here. And then you will see fabric 1.21.1 in here as the most recent one. Select that. And then down here, you're going to hit create. And that is going to add an instance of fabric 1.21.1 for you in case you didn't have it. Now, it doesn't matter how you got fabric in here. Either you found it or you created it yourself. Just head over to fabric, hover over it, and then click on this little folded icon that appears right next to the play button. That is going to open a folder with a lot of files in here. But you're looking for a specific folder called mods, M-O-D-S. Now, mine is right here, but there's a small chance you don't have the mods folder and I went ahead and deleted mine. All you have to do if you don't have the mods folder is click on new, click folder, and just name that folder MODS, mods. So yeah, you could create that mods folder yourself. Go ahead and open that mods folder app. And in here, you're going to drag and drop the Fabric API as well as any mod that you want to use with Fabric 1.21.1. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop those into here. Make sure that every other mod in this folder is compatible with Fabric Mod Loader as well with the 1.21.1 version of the game. So if you have Forge mods in here, it's not going to work and it's going to crash most likely when you open the game. Now, we have the mods that we need in here. We could actually go ahead and close this folder and we could delete those mods from the desktop as we don't need them anymore. Head back into the Minecraft launcher and launch your Fabric Loader 1.21.1. You might get a prompt in here saying that you're about to play modern Minecraft. Click that you understand the risk. If you want to know all the risks of playing modern Minecraft, just click on read more about player safety and then just go ahead and hit play. And now let's go ahead and wait for the game to open and we're going to test out if the mods are working now once the game opens we know that we're in fabric because this is fabric modded down here but we're still gonna go ahead and test out those mods head over to a single player or a multiplayer world it doesn't matter as this specific mod will work in single player and multiplayer mods because it is a client side mod and once you're in the world by the way if you need a multiplayer server to test out your mods again create your own server so you could use your own mods without getting banned or anything and you could use that first link in the description to do so anyways once in the world as you can see in the top left we actually have saeros already working which means that our mods are working and and if we press the letter Y on our keyboard, we'll actually access the settings for Saeros in case we want to change the position of the minimap or whatever we want to do. We could do so now using Saeros and using the settings menu for Saeros because there we go. We have mods and we have fabric mod loader installed. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask in return. And as always, bye bye.